All right, guys, here it is. This is the Hi-Fi speaker clone that was based off the Definitive Technology CLR series, and in particular, the CLR 3000. And today, I'm going to teach you how to build it. Counting double digit values. Yes. first thing we need to do is go ahead and cut the wood down to size. Now I made this pretty simple by creating a cut list in the free program called Cut List. If you haven't got a chance to check out that program, check out an earlier video. You can download that for free from there. Also check out my website if you want to download this particular cut list. We're going to start marking our speaker cutouts on our center baffle by drawing a line directly down the center. We're now going to mark the center hole for the mids at exactly 5 inches from either side. And the tweeter at 11 inches. We now need to make some markings for the subwoofer, which will be on the very top plate. Measure 5 and 5 eighths inches from the rear of it and 6 and a half inches from the side to get the middle point. I decided to flush mount these, so I measured all the speakers and then cut them out with my Jasper 200. It is important to note that I was off by an eighth of an inch on all of my cuts, so you will want to make them a little larger than I did. We're going to go ahead and start gluing the box together. We're using liquid nails for this project. Now it is important to note that I am using the bracing just to make sure I have the spacing correctly. They are not actually being glued in right now. I decided I was going to run the crossover in the sub compartment directly behind the amplifier. That way I could easily access it if I ever needed to make changes to it. But because of that, we need to drill a couple holes through the box and then fill those with some type of glue. I prefer Gorilla Glue because it expands. The crossover itself is a third order on the tweeter and a second order on the Dayton's. Now you're going to want to go ahead and glue in all the braces as well as the front and rear baffle. Just make sure the braces don't get in the way of the speakers and also make sure that the amplifier cutout is on the opposite side of the subwoofer. Now all we have left to do is prep it for paint, paint it, assemble, and give it a good listen.
If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see behind the scenes of upcoming projects or even vote on the next ones I do, check out my Patreon page. Thanks, and until next time.